Right, so I admit, I admit now, uh, I've been failing all my thousands and thousands. I think we're up to ten or twenty thousand subscribers. I've been failing all my subscribers. Haven't been showing you all the little projects I've been working on. But uh, this is my dad's truck, and we're going to put winter tires on here, winter tires and rims. And I've taken off these lug nuts, which I should have gotten a video of taking these things off because I had a breaker bar, and uh, I had all I could do to move these things. So that's why I know in other videos I've showed uh, where I put the anti-seas on here. So I'm going to, when I put these back on, obviously there'll be tons of anti-seas, which like I said, I'm sure nothing, no... Uh, self-respecting automotive anybody ever puts anything on these but if I was on the side of the road with this thing we'd be screwed so I will just show everyone right here see low no lug nuts in any of the holes and actually one of them the it was so tight that the outer casing should fall here the outer casing of this came off that's how tight it was and uh, no I did not have the wrong size it actually I had the right size on there and it started to turn and then I had a pound one on, which is why this is all mangled, mangled now. So, anyway, these are all off. And, uh... It's not moving. At all. So if you're on the side of the road right now, you're pretty much screwed. So that's why when I pull this off, eventually get it off, I'll probably have to get underneath here in the super safe area. See, I got it like almost all the way up on these quick jacks. I get down in there on a super safe area, so the truck will fall on my head, and I'm gonna pound from the inside out with a, probably a block of wood or something and try to get it off. But the front ones were the same way, and this truck's got, I don't know, maybe, it's the original tires on here. It's only got maybe 10,000 miles, 20,000 miles. I don't know what he's got on this thing. We could check in a minute. But uh, anyway, so that's uh, what I'm doing today. Quick, quick uh, oil, or sorry, quick, uh, Tire change, and uh, turns out that uh, it's going to take me a little longer than expected. So, oh no, because when you live right and help others, things work out for you. So look at, I got all of these off, and I thought this one here was loose, but see this? That's that outer casing on this thing. That's loose. So if I kind of zoom in, I already tried, uh, this is like a dent from trying to get my socket off because it wasn't... But look, it was the, the right size socket in there. It's not all mangled here. But now if I try to put this on, it's, see, that's just the outside turning. And now I probably won't be able to get this thing off again because it finagles its way. Use this special socket remover tool, which works better than trying to pound through. I, I was trying to, I uh, had use the a small punch and try to punch through the middle of this so as I was pulling with a different clamp device anyway so now I'm going to try to get uh, this was a, a multi-point here is that I know one needs to have more but the the right size because someone else had already used an impact on here the right size um, deep well socket that I normally use like on my own truck doesn't work because someone else has it all mangled up so now I'm probably gonna have to Put this thing on or a different one pound it on with this uh dead blow hammer until it like contacts and then probably rip off the outside of this one again so again if you're working on cars i think impact should be outlawed a little bit of time it takes to do it by hand saves idiots like me dumb schmucks from having troubles like this on the side of the road so i guess i'll get that off see if i can get a little video for you guys to see so now if i go to a uh 13 16 deep well which I normally use on my it's pretty much a friction fit so you have to make sure it's it's uh, on there correctly but that's what I used the last time to try to get the other one off so what I'll do is put that on here hopefully I got it somewhat close to the right uh, it's hard to tell on the inside it's hitting right now so I assume a little bit back from that yeah this is not moving Thank you, Tire Shop, for putting them on with an impact. I uh, that is. So that didn't work. Um, this one kind of fits on there. This is the one I've been using. It's a 21 millimeter. It kind of fits on there, but I know when I start pounding that on, it's just going to wreck another lug nut. So I don't know what the right thing to do here is. 
I guess you guys should leave me some comments down in the bottom here and let me know how I'm supposed to be doing this, but by the time I post this, I'm going to have a lot of stuff broken here. It's not the right way to do it either. Okay, so that's not working. There's 21. I could pound this one on. What do you guys think? Bad idea? Super. Let's do it. Yes, I know. Not the correct way to do any of this. Under understand. I don't know what else to do at this point. So now I put this on. Huh. Maybe I was wrong. Well, let's say I was wrong. For some reason. Now it's coming off. Maybe, oh, yeah, that's what happened. I, I got it pounded on enough where then it uh, cracked this. And I can get a grip on the on the nut. So there's another one. Thanks for the impact, guys. Good job. Keep on using the impact. Love it. Again, this tire, all the uh, lug nuts are gone, and uh, it's not. Uh, it's not coming off. So what I'm likely going to do is I'm going to lower this thing down. And then I'll just jack up the back end because I just don't want to have it. I don't think a lot of side load is good for these things. I don't need them being damaged in the process. So I'm going to lower it down and see what I can do about getting these wheels off. Here's something worth showing anyone looking to get a quick jack. So I've just uh, moved the locks. It's all coming down. And uh, if I'm going to let it down so I can work on the back tires. And then put it back up. But you'll see that once this drops down, so the back released before the front. So then you have, now if you pick it back up, you have to reposition all of the stands. So what I've done underneath here is, so this little um, arrow shows you where to lift, like a lift point. And I just put a little mark there. I measured it, it would happen to be I think it was like five and a half inches from that bracket back there. So on both sides, I measured that and then I put a mark. So when I lifted it the first time, the center of this was right underneath that. So we've probably got, I would say it looks like about five and a half inches from where that mark was to where it was. So now I have to move both of these stands or move the truck uh, five and a half inches so that they're in the same orientation. So also if you notice the back, had come off first and then the then the front just kind of tipped these things forward so anyway i'm gonna work on those back tires now so Let's see if anybody know where this is it's a clue right there figure it out let me know i know how you guys on the internet love it when things go wrong so what i did was i put um one lug nut back on each side because these back ones are not coming off and uh Got my regular old school floor jack underneath here with a little block of 2x4. And I'll get this side off the ground. And that's why we all come to the internet. I mean, that's why I come here too. If I want to see stuff done properly, then, you know, I'll just turn on one of those race shows where they rebuild an entire car in a half an hour. Well, that 2x4 seems like it might not be uh, as sturdy as it needs to be. Hmm. Alright, so we're off the ground. Just barely. All four of the other tires are on the ground. I think the everything on the passenger side only has one lug nut in it. So now I'm going to find something to pound from the inside out on this thing. So let me uh, set you guys down here. And then I'll see if I can find something to break this wheel off with. Emphasis being on the brake part. All right. So my normal policy of never throwing anything away, I pulled this. Uh, I don't know what this was. Maybe like a mailbox post or something. So what I've got that is kind of aligned to the tire right there on the tire part, not the rim. So I won't get a full blow into the, uh, into the tire part. I'm just going to go over here and check because I don't know that I took the lug nut off yet. No, I didn't. Oh, good thing. I'm good thing. I'm checking this kind of thing. <laughs> I had it super tight. It was torqued on. 
Check one of my other videos for when I rotated tires, but using a torque wrench is preferred. And uh, and you can you know, put the uh, NICs and whatnot on those. So, alrighty. So I got this lug down off. Good thing I checked that. I'm gonna use this sweet hammer I got from my father-in-law. Seen steel. I'm gonna use that on my block of wood on the other side. I think this truck could maybe use a washing too. All right. So we'll kind of set this up over here so you can see when stuff starts breaking. See if I can get this set up so you guys can see what's going on. Do, do, do. So I hit, oh, oh, gotta back up a little bit. We'll take this all out in editing later. There was nothing actually. Yeah, it might be something. We'll see. Let's see what we're hitting over there. We're not on the rim. Hmm. Didn't do anything. Awesome. I may have to get this on the actual rim itself. So you guys can see now why I took this off the quick jacks. I don't trust this kind of stuff on quick jacks. Alright, so that's not working. Sweet. Hmm, I may have to reposition. Let's reposition and attempt two. Don't know if anybody's gonna be able to see this in the video. So I'm kind of on the rim, not on the real thin part that sticks out, but the part where the you know the bead goes in. And so I got that positioned. Now we're gonna head over here, try this again. Hitting instead of hitting on the rubber part. Anybody getting seasick yet? Instead of hitting on the rubber part, I'm gonna hit on the aluminum metal part of the rim. Let's we'll see if this works out. So again, we've had a lot of videos, but too much stuff's been going right. No one, want, no one wants to watch stuff that goes right. So that's why, that's why I'm here. All right, so I'm going to try this again. Oh, that should not be that tight, right? Like if we were on the side of the road right now, what would we be doing? Huh? Calling triple A? I know what I'd be doing. I'd be calling double A. Oh, that shouldn't be a joke. I know. I'm sorry. Um, gonna reposition this for the whacking. Maybe I need to get another block of wood on this side. God, there's so much filth around here. There's got to be another block of wood somewhere. Well, we're gonna have to get another piece of wood. You guys just hang tight there. I'll get some wood. It's kind of in there. Oh, 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 there we go. I'm sure I'm wrecking the rim. Oh well. What are you going to do? Can I get it off? Ooh. I think it moved. I think it moved. Let's see what we got here. Everyone's checking. Everyone's hoping for a busted rim. Let's see. Alright, well, it's either off or bent. And a huh, little bit of little bit of polish in there. I don't really see anything uh, bent or anything, so I think that'll work. So I'll uh, clean up this super duper awesome rusty hub, some with a wire brush, and then put some NACs on it. And then I'll put this wheel back on and kind of do a similar thing on the other side. You guys don't want to see that. It's the same. It'll be the same thing. Of course, now I got to figure it out how to do it. So you guys can do it uh, way easier than I did. Just have to have one of those old uh, fence posts or uh, mailbox posts, and then a piece of old uh, barn timber, and then a Racine steel sledgehammer, and you can get your wheel off. Got kind off of too. a kidder mission right here. You got two of the kidders here, but uh, I wanted to show them something. So this is what happens. So you know, I didn't really understand this until I had kids of my own, but you guys tick me off a lot. And now when Grandpa brings his truck over for me to work on, he puts this thing in here. This thing right here. Why do you think he'd leave that in there? Probably because you know all the stupid stuff you guys do? Yeah. You know that? What do you think happens when I come walking through here, when I walk around the backside and I'm like, oh, that's payback right there. So you guys see that? When, when I'm old and you're doing work for me, you better be doing work for me, both of you. You owe me, both of you. Yeah. When you're doing work for me, I'm going to do something like that. And then you're going to come around here and you're going to do, 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 and then whack. Oh my God, my leg. Oh, I hate you. Right? That's what you're going to do. Yep, no. So just think, just remember that in the future. That's a public service announcement. When you have kids and you get them to do stuff for you, 
You gotta put little traps like this in there so they can hurt themselves. Payback. You payback. All right, so let's try this again here. So we got this right here. Oh, we got a little too much. There we go, right there. So we got the Racine steel. We got the piece of wood. We got the other tire jacked up. I already checked to make sure that the lug nuts were off. Now we're gonna see if this thing will pop off like the other side did. Did it move? Oh, she moved. Two good wax. Two good wax with the Racine steel. Came right off. Looks like it's time for a collaboration with some YouTubers here. So this is what it's supposed to look like. Mm -hmm. My ugly shadow in there. Um, doing a sweet project cars collaboration here. Got one of these uh, paint sticks. Unipaint. And I've been uh, coloring in. These were, I should have taken a picture at the start. These were just like silver. I don't know what happened, all the blue stuff left. But uh, these look pretty good together. I should probably like color over this one because that's what it's supposed to look like. But that one's a nice shape, so I'll leave that one alone. And then, uh, sweet project cars. Fix. Cheap one. I already had this in the drawer. It's paint, right? Uni paint. Fine line. But uh, yeah, looks pretty good. I think if you get them on the truck, they'll be all right. That's what you get for a used set of rims. All right, I'll get you a picture when I got them on a truck.